So this video assumes you're familiar with the unit circle, radians, degrees, sine, cos, tan. Uh, you just need a bit of a refresher. You've done it all before. I'm going to jump through a lot of examples of just various skills you're going to need. All right, so this one I'm going to convert degrees to radians. So to do that, it's going to be taking the degrees and multiplying it by pi on 180. Now, when I do that, I'll get 135 pi on 180. And you can simplify that uh, to 3 pi on 4. Now, how did I know that? I didn't actually simplify that fraction. I thought about my unit circle. I drew 135 degrees on there, and it's pi on 4, 2 pi on 4, 3 pi on 4. Um, but multiplying by pi on 180 and simplifying your, your um, fraction will also get you there as well. So convert 7 pi on 6 to degrees. So I'm going the other way. Uh, it's going to be 7 pi on 6 times 180 on uh, pi. Now the pi's are going to cancel out. It's going to be 7 times 180 on uh, 6. Uh, that's going to be some large number there. When I simplify that, I'll get uh, 210. Now again, how did I know that? I got my unit circle. 7 pi on 6 is pi on 6, 2 pi on 6, 3 pi on 6, 4 pi on 6, 5 pi on 6, 6 pi on 6, 7 pi on 6. That's 7 pi on 6, which is the same as 180 plus 30 degrees, 210 degrees. But multiplying by 180 on pi will also get you there. So we've converted both ways. So finding exact values of trig ratios, uh, I'll just do this first one here, sine pi on 4. On the unit circle, pi on 4 is 45 degrees, so start from the positive direction of the x-axis, move around. This is the angle I'm worried about. Now, I'm looking for um, the y-coordinate of that dot that I've just drawn in. Now, to do that, a standard triangle is probably a useful thing, so I'll just draw one in here, 1, 1, root 2. Uh, that angle there is pi on 4, and that is a right angle, um, and sine is going to be opposite over hypotenuse 1 on root 2. So the answer is 1 on root 2. If you want to rationalize denominators, we can call it root 2 on 2. Uh, this next one here, cos 5 pi on 6, if I draw it on a unit circle, it's going to look like pi on 6, 2 pi on 6, 3 pi on 6, 4 pi on 6, 5 pi on 6, something like that, which is 150 degrees. Uh, this angle here is just pi on 6. So I can say that cos 5 pi on 6 is equal to cos pi on 6. That's my reference angle. But C, A, S, T. Because this is the x coordinate, because cos is the x coordinate of the dot, it's going to be negative in the second quadrant. OK, I need a second standard triangle. Okay, so it's um, 1 here, sorry, it's 2 there, it's 1 there, it's root 3 there, and that angle is a pi on 3, and this angle is pi on 6. I want cosine pi on 6, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, root 3 on 2, but it's negative, negative root 3 on 2. Okay, and this one here, 10, negative 2 pi on 3. Now Again, a unit circle, but it's a negative angle, which means we start at our x-axis. We go pi on 3, 2 pi on 3. We end up here. That's 2 pi on 3. But the angle I'm interested in is the reference angle, the acute angle between the x-axis and that line I just drew. That's pi on 3. So um, it's going to be 10 pi on 3. Uh, but is it positive or negative? C, A, S, T. It's the tangent quadrant. It's positive. The reason for that, negative cosine, negative sine, divide 1 by the other to get 10. That's going to be positive. So it's going to be positive 10 pi on 3. 10 pi on 3 is equal to opposite over adjacent root 3 on 1, which is just a root 3. Now there is just one more that I want to take a look at. If you're asked for sine 3 pi on 2, 
drawing that, it'll be pi on two, three, uh, 2 pi on 2, 3 pi on 2. It's this angle here. Now, what am I going to do with that? Well, it's important to continue understanding that with the coordinates of that dot are cos theta, sine theta. This is a unit circle, 1, 1, negative 1, negative 1. Uh, so the sine 3 pi and 2 is the coordinate of that, which is negative 1. All right, if I was asked for cos 3 pi on 2, then that would be the x coordinate of that dot, which would be 0. If I was asked for tan 3 pi on 2, then that would be equal to sine theta over cos theta, which is equal to negative 1 over 0, which is negative 1. All right, we come to solving them. These are a little tougher. Uh, sine x equals negative root 3 on 2 in the domain 0 to 2 pi. So uh, I'll draw a little unit circle here. Uh, it's a negative answer, so it's going to exist in uh, this quadrant or this quadrant. Now, uh, root 3 on 2, where have I seen that before? Well, I've got a unit circle here, 2, 1, root 3. Root 3 on 2, uh, so it's going to be this thing here. Now, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so it must be that angle there. And that angle there is uh, pi on 3, which means that that is my solution, pi on 3, and that is my solution, pi on 3. Um, now, I'm working between 0 and 2 pi, so it's going to be pi on 3, 2 pi on 3, 3 pi on 3, 4 pi on 3. Or um, 5 pi on 3. Alright, so uh, that's solving something fairly simple like that. We can make it a little more complex. So maybe something like this. Now, two challenges. One, we need to uh, rearrange this so it's a little more solvable. And two, our domain is a little bit different. It's not 0 to 2 pi, it's a bit wacky. All right, so first of all, let's rearrange this. Uh, 2 cos x plus 5 equals 4. I can subtract 5 from both sides, so 4 minus 5 is negative 1, and that'll leave me with 2 cos x. And now I can divide both sides by 2, and that'll give me cos x equals negative 1 half. Okay, from here, uh, I can draw in this guy here. I can draw in a standard triangle here. I think that's going to be pi on 3 here, 1, 2, root 3, um, adjacent over hypotenuse. So the answer is pi on 3, uh, C-A-S-T, it's negative, so it's going to be in the S and the T quadrants, so uh, pi on 3 here and here, uh, which makes my answer either pi on 3, 2 pi on 3, or 4 pi on 3. But wait a minute. I'm assuming that it's between 0 and 2 pi, but it's not between 0 and 2 pi. It's this wacky stuff here. So let's get rid of those answers and let's rethink it a little bit. So we'll do the negative portion first, from 0 to negative 3 pi on 2. So from 0 um, to here. All right, so that's um, negative 2 pi on... 3, right? So because that's pi on 3 there, 1 pi on 3, 2 pi on 3. Right, and then I need to keep going because negative 3 pi on 2 is up there, like all the way around to there, so I can get to that answer as well. So we'll go to that answer as well. Uh, pi on, negative pi on 3, negative 2 pi on 3, negative 3 pi on 3, negative 4 pi on 3. Right, negative 4 pi on 3. Um, okay, that's all of the negatives because uh, negative 3 pi on 2 is there, so I can't keep going around and around and around. The next step is from 0 to pi. All right, so in the positive direction now. 0 to pi, I've passed through one answer. So uh, pi on 3, 2 pi on 3. All right, so three answers there. I had to rearrange my equation and I had to think about my domain. So I tried to do all that as quickly as possible. This is stuff that you have done before, I hope. Um, that is a refresher. It's time to go away and practice anything that you had some trouble with.